So another thing you might notice in the draw menu is this front, back, up, down, and left and right menu. So if you want to open up more of these, you can hold down shift and that'll open up all these menus here. And let's go ahead and turn on our X and our Z floor plane. So what we're going to basically do is put an image plane and attach it to this back and side view, um, well, front and side view, really, uh, so we can start sculpting. So what I'm going to do is go up here to edit, and I'm going to take my undo counter. We're just going to go back to where we had just a, the eyeballs dug in, so at least I can kind of orient myself in space forward. So what do I want to do? I'm going to go to a website called Zygote Body. I really love this website. I hope they don't get too mad at me for using it. But... Basically, uh, you can load in male and female, and you can go down to the bones and the skin. I can switch over here. I can go, you know what, I don't want to see any skin or uh, ligaments or organs or nervous systems. I want to see muscles, and you can select the muscle, and you can kind of just view just that muscle. You can shift select other muscles, or you can select a couple of muscles, and then you can turn the muscles off, and you can see exactly where they attach on the bones. Very, very cool system here. I go ahead and X those out, and really what I'm concerned about is getting um, the skull. I'm going to get a couple pictures of the skull. I'm just going to kind of zoom in here. And I'm going to do, copy this to my clipboard. And we're going to head over to Photoshop. Control N, Enter, Control V to paste. So I've got a front view here. And we'll go back to Zygote Body and we'll do a side view here. Alt Print Screen just to capture that window. Copy to clipboard. Head on over and we'll just paste. Oops. There we go. So we got a side view and we got a front view. I'm going to just uh, move this over. Delete this section here. And I'm going to make this all one image. Now I, I'm going to drag down a ruler just to make sure these things are lined up reasonably well. So this one looks a little bit big. I'm going to hit Control T to go into Transform. I'm just going to pull it so the top of the head and the bottom of the jar are pretty much lined up. And move this over a bit. Perfect. There we go. I'm going to hit C to go into Crop. I'm just going to crop these two heads out, front view and a side view. I'm going to flatten it, Save As, and we're just going to throw that on the desktop as Skull. I'm going to hop back over into ZBrush Core and over here. So we've got uh, front and back and we have maps to plug those in. So I need to get those textures into ZBrush. So I'm going to go to Texture, Import, go to my desktop. I've got a skull on there. And now if I go to Texture, I have a skull image in there. So now what I can do is go to front and back. I'm going to do Map 1, grab my skull. And that brought in both images. So if I navigate around, you're going to see I want my skull right here. And I don't need the side view in this one. I just need the front view. I'm going to go to adjust. I'm going to grab this red dot, move this in, hit OK. And now I've just got the skull. I'm going to turn perspective off just so I can kind of line this up. And I'm going to have to go to horizontal offset and just line that up right down the middle. And now I'm going to plug in the side view here. So I'm going to go uh, up and down. I don't really, I mean, I could go and get an up and down view, but that's, that's fine. I'm going to do a left and right, grab that image. I'm going to go back to adjust. And this one, I'm going to grab this one here. Okay, and then uh, it's backwards. I'm just going to hit flip, and that'll go ahead and flip that around. Now, it's a little bit large compared to my working sphere here, so what I'm going to do is just scale this down 0.5, and I'll go to the front and back, scale that down to 0.5, and now they're a little bit closer. So now that I have those set up, I can hold down Shift and snap it to the side while I navigate, and I can just hit OK. Since I did all those undos, I'm just going to vaguely work this into the shape I need here. You're going to see I have transparency in here, and you can mess with the transparency settings if you want to. You're going to see there's an E enhance, uh, edge enhance, opacity, and factor, and uh, you can play with those settings. But the default settings are pretty sweet. And I'm going to hit W twice to go into transpose mode, drag out from the center, and just kind of put that into place. And now I can use these as guides. And you're also going to see as I'm sculpting, those little lines, the blue line goes straight back, so you can see exactly where it's going to hit on your image plane, and the red line is going to go straight to the right and hit right on that image plane. So you can just very quickly go in here, and it's a Dynamesh sphere, so make sure um, you're utilizing that. It looks like it's a little bit off-center still. Grab my draw menu, the front and back, and if I want to get an exact middle plane, I can just go right down the middle of my object and make a midline, and then I can just mass match that horizontal offset to that midline. There we go. So now I can go in here and hold down Alt to dig in. So I know I'm going to dig in. And these areas here, I'm going to bump out right on the zygomatic arch, dig in these orbits here, go in with my clay brush, build up a little bit of brow. I can't, there's no clip in here, but I can do, I can try doing a select lasso or even, probably even better is a uh, mask lasso. We don't have a mask lasso set up, but we can hold down Control and go to Stroke and choose lasso. And now we have 
a mask lasso. So we're going to mask this area out, control click to invert that, use my transpose to kind of push those in. And that will kind of act as a clip in the Big Brother Zebra. Same thing as the side here. I can go to the side and I can dig this part out, control click to invert, W, and just kind of force that up and then re-dynamesh. And that'll just kind of act as a clipping brush. So I'm going to go in here with my move and make sure these are all lined up nicely. And I'm not doing the world's greatest job, obviously. I'm just going to get them into place. I'm not going to force you to watch me do a whole skull here. But I think you'll get the idea and the usefulness and power of using image planes. So now if I go and I turn my floor off, that'll temporarily turn off my image planes. And again, the shortcut for floor is Shift P. So now I can go in here and I can have my reference up or I can have it I can just kind of freehand sculpt with reference off to the side, but just a quick way to kind of get your stuff um, sorted out. Now, if you're having trouble smoothing, uh, which I am a little bit, you can drop your resolution down. We'll drop it down to like 64, and that'll kind of drop the resolution a bit, and you'll be able to smooth easier. You can also go into your smooth brush, and it's not in there yet. I'm going to hit comma key. I'm going to go to brush, and there's a smooth stronger. I'm going to double click that. And now when I hold down shift, it smooths stronger, so that's a little bit... Uh, more useful. So now you can go in here, use your standard brush, um, bring my floor back, and I can kind of go, okay, the zygomatic arch is right up here, and kind of build that out a little bit, and then turn my floor off, and now I know exactly where that needs to go, and all that good stuff. So you can kind of just start sculpting out your skull here, and uh, you're in good shape.